Yes? Now this is the Hollow Earth. Agartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. But by my watch, it's... 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour. Judging from the cut of you, you're more of a world traveller. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, this underground realm, like the great British rail system, is the very model of efficiency. Agatha's thoroughfares sprout from the tree of life and connect back to the surface. Distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Now, of course, it's perfectly safe. And no one's entirely sure how it works. Quite bedeviled the science boffins, but I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men. Now so you'll need one of these. Uh, mind your fingers. Thank you. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the Hollow Earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast, what? Don't worry, kid. You haven't gone back in time. I just happen to be the last of the cowboys. Got your southern welcome right here. Mesquite beans, Texas style. Good ought to face evil on a full stomach. Name's Boone. I'm a troubleshooter. You and I need to have a powwow before you continue your little crusade. You Templars may be taking the high road, but just watch you don't get saddle rash from the high horse, okay? Sure, you can be divided in purpose, but we gotta stand united against darkness. This ain't my first rodeo. I know we're gonna need all the unity we can get. 
Don't mean to say you stepped into hell, but when the wind blows west, you can just about smell the brimstone. All we know is death and fog came from the sea, or someone brought it back with them. If I was a gambling man, I'd put money on that someone still being around. Bunch of survivors holed up in Kingsmith Town. Follow that main road and the sound of gunfire, and you'll come to the sheriff's office. Kid, whatever your reasons for being here, you find out what those people died for, and you bring a reckoning. Forest crawls. Gets my fingers itching for two matters. One. The other. Figuring out a way to keep them down. It ain't right the way the dead walk the earth. They deserve their six feet, same as everyone else. I've sworn to keeping guard here, and you've got places to be. But nothing's stopping you from culling the herd as you go. Hell, figure out what makes them tick, and how to make that ticking stop, and I'll buy you a beer at the apocalypse. So go on, kid. Saddle up. The end of the world waits for no man.
Namaste. Back in my old life, I always wondered what was around the corner I didn't take, down the road I didn't go. That's how I ended up here, up to my elbows in machine grease rigging bombs. <laughs> Relax, my friend, I got plenty of experience blowing shit up. I got a handle on death and the instruments thereof, and no desire to see the infinite darkness claim any of us quite yet. These mechanical servants of the Reaper will stay still and silent. Well, I'm good and ready to push that button. Traveling the big countries taught me everything from bull riding to bonsai. Enough to cause a man to lose his appetite for destruction. But circumstances require us to yield to the greater good. Even when that greater good isn't all that pretty. Road here said I'd be pitching in with soft-shell lobster season. Instead, I found nightmare country. Maybe the very rotten heartland of it. But I'm philosophizing. Life is sacred. Every moment is precious. Which brings us right back around to blowing up dead guys. I've got no shortage of time or ideas. What I'm lacking is the nuts and bolts of it. I could fill a shopping cart down Main Street. But getting out there and back... That's what's kicking my ass, my friend. Are a sight for sore eyes. Heck if I know where you folks keep coming from, but anyone who walks through that door alive pretty much gets my amnesty. Something in your past colors you sourly to a badge, I'd ask you to call it quits in return. We agreeable? Well then, I'm Sheriff Bannerman, and this down-home little state of emergency is what's left of my jurisdiction. Sure, we tried to hold as much of the town as we could at first, more out of nostalgia than any civil defense plan. I won't tell you Kingsmith was a slice of heaven in a snow globe, but it was ours. No, it ain't. There was always something running under in this town. Maybe what's spilled out now. If that's how it works, I couldn't say hand on heart we didn't have it coming. But that fog, and the things in it, they didn't pick and choose when they came in. Most folks didn't stand a chance. Now. I can see you're armed. I won't kick up any fuss about that. Straight truth is, you'll need to be. Just don't go thinking that means you're deputized as such. Heaven knows, if there was ever a time and a place for the right to bear them, you're looking at it. Henry has his word of God, that Roger woman has her crystal ball, and Norma out on the point's got a 12-gauge. My money's on Norma. Now you are a sight for sore eyes.
Hello, my friend. We got some more trouble on the south barricade. 